there are some amazing items you want to get as soon as possible in Dead Island 2. From guaranteed rare weapons at early levels to some powerful items you don't want to miss early so you can use them during your entire playthrough, I'll tell you everything you need to know right here. A like would really help us out, subscribe for more Dead Island 2 content and let's go! Now if you want to make it through the zombie apocalypse alive, you will of course need some strong melee weapons to help you cut through the hordes. But it can be difficult to find some decent ones early on. In fact, in my experience, rare quality weapons will only start dropping after you reach level 10, which can take a bit. There is one exception to this rule, however, as you can already grab yourself some rare weapons from lockboxes if you know where to find the keys. They're marked by this icon on the map and can only be opened by defeating a specific named zombie that drops the key. Meaning you'll also need to know where to find those, but I've already found some ones you can get to early on. The first of which is right after you leave the Halperin Hotel after completing your main mission there. On the way back, this Drill Sergeant Crusher will spawn who will drop a key for a nearby military supplies case. He is level 8, which might be a bit high depending on when you get here, but the nice thing is that dying does not reset his health. Meaning you can respawn as many times as you need to, since you don't lose anything, and weather him down until you kill him for the key. Take it back to the lockbox down the street to receive a nice rare military knife. Keep in mind this weapon is a headhunter type, meaning it performs best if you aim for a zombie's head. After grabbing the knife, you can continue with your main quest, because upon returning to Bel Air, you can grab a second and really powerful rare weapon from another lockbox. Make your way through the goat house, because on the street in front of it is another named enemy called the Cable Guy. He'll release a shock blast every so often, so steer clear of that, but other than that, he's not too much trouble. Turn back down the other end of the street once you have his key to open up his van and get the electrocutor tire iron. This one already has a rare electrocutor mod on it, so better than the shock weapon you'll have crafted as part of the main quest. It's an ideal weapon to pair with the cam bomb you unlock early on to clear large groups of enemies. Soak them in water with the bomb and then hit one zombie enough to electrify it to shock the whole group. And while some of the mods and perks on these weapons are locked, you can also still add your own flair to them by filling up the other slot. I found this especially useful with the rare hunting knife you can grab from Michael's house. You'll go there for the main story anyway, right after returning from the hotel, and once you've entered the house, you can go back out to search for Michael's protege. I walked around the house a bit and killed some of the other zombies until this named one showed up at the front. Kill it and grab the hunting knife from the safe inside the house. Now like I said, I think mods are really beneficial for this one, especially ones that give you elemental damage. That's because it is a frenzy weapon, so the more you attack, the faster you attack, making it an excellent choice for status buildup. And by the way, feel free to experiment with mods on weapons as you'll stock up on resources very quickly. We'll also have some tips to make sure you never run out coming soon in a different video, so stay tuned for that. If you're sticking around Beverly Hills anyway, you'll eventually meet Ricky, an old rocker who has a quest for you that rewards you with another nice shock weapon, specifically a pole saw. Like the military knife from earlier, this is a headhunter weapon, so attacks against the head are the way to go. The quest is called Resurrect the Rex and unlocks after rescuing Michael from Monarch. Studios. Apart from that, it's really simple, you go to the house marked on the map, enter it by placing a battery in the generator over here and go in to collect three recordings. There's one big final fight on the roof, but by now you should already have a lot of powerful weapons to deal with that. Return to Ricky with the recordings and he'll hand you the electric pole saw in return. And in case you're wondering how and when you get access to firearms, it's from a main story mission called Justifiable Zombicide. It's not that far into the game as it also takes place right after you your encounter with Michael at Monarch Studios. During this mission, you'll actually get plenty of time to try out a rifle to take down a horde of incoming zombies. After doing so, you can start buying guns from merchants or they can start dropping out in the world. I found that the latter rarely happens, so you're better off looking for a merchant if you want a new one. Now, you can't carry that much ammo and it is not something you find all the time either, so be smart about your gun usage and if you need to, make sure you buy ammo from a vendor. After finishing this zombicide quest, you'll want to return to the water plant up the hill, so where you just came from for the previous main mission. A named screamer called Brentwood Staff will have spawned, so deal with her and grab the key. Head back into the water plant and backtrack all the way to where you found the key you needed to get out of there to open this trash bin. You'll receive a heavy wrench with a rare punctuator mod on it that makes your weapon apply the bleed status. And again, we have a rare mod here, so it is probably better than the mods you're able to craft right now. Meaning, it's a really nice weapon to get this early on. 
And while you will eventually outlevel these weapons, there are some very useful unlocks that will help you out during your entire playthrough, one of which is the Caustic X Grenade. This is a curveball item, so a piece of throwable equipment that works on a cooldown. This specific one throws a timed explosive that releases a blast of Caustic X. The initial detonation deals damage and also applies the melting status effect, as does the puddle of Caustic X the grenades leave behind. This will deal some nice damage over time, so even if you don't take out a zombie with the initial blast, they can still easily dig out to the melt damage. So very powerful against groups, although applying the damage over time to a stronger Apex variant can be useful as well. Just keep in mind that some types of zombies, like slobbers, are immune to caustic damage, so don't use it on them. But again, the nice thing with these curveballs is that unlike weapons, you don't outlevel them, so as soon as you get this caustic X bomb, you're good to use it for your entire playthrough. And you can actually already get it very early in the story after completing the room service for Major Booker main mission at the Halperin Hotel. This will unlock the side mission, the Ravages of Caustic X, which will also take place at the hotel. It's pretty easy, clear the ballroom of zombies, then move to the pool and kill zombies with Caustic X by kicking them in the acid, and then you can grab yourself this amazing grenade early on. And by doing this quest, you'll unlock another side mission a bit later on that will reward you with another great curveball item, the Military Grenade. As you probably already expect, you throw this out for a big bang, dealing lots of damage while also being able to maim a target called in the explosion. Stat-wise, the military grenade functions exactly the same as the pipe bomb you find earlier in the story, but where the pipe bomb comes with a time trigger, the grenade detonates on contact, meaning you can throw it directly at an enemy to make it explode in their face. In my experience, timed explosives can bounce to where you don't want them, or zombies run away before the explosion triggers, so having an explosive with a contact trigger is a huge improvement. To get it, you want to get on the radio in the Ocean's Avenue save zone, which you reach by progressing through the main story to accept the quest, Boss Makes a Bang. Again, in order to get this one, you need to have completed the Ravages of Caustic X first. The quest will have you heading back to the Monarch Film Studios to abuse their pyrotechnic setup. It's a pretty fun one that has you fight a lot of zombies and you'll leave with a nice new explosive to boot after finishing the quest. And again, like the Caustic X Grenade, it doesn't matter on what level you get this unlock as it will be useful to you for the entirety of your playthrough. And there's another very useful unlock that will help you throughout the entire game and that's the Invigorating Skill card. You can grab this one very early on and I have literally used it for my entire playthrough as it really helps you out with survivability. It increases the amount of health you get from a counter attack so the one you can perform on a zombie with square or X after dodging or blocking their attack at the right time. Now normally these already give you some health back as you can see here I go from about 310 to 490 health. But with invigorating equipped I heal from 215 to 500 with just one counter so way more than I would get without the skill card equipped. And the best part is that it triggers on a counter so it doesn't matter if you prefer dodging or blocking as invigorating works with both players styles. And it's super easy to get pretty much as soon as you get to Emma's place. After defending the house from zombies, you'll need to find Emma on the balcony of her room. Check near the bed to find the skill card, after which you can immediately equip it. Let us know if we missed any amazing unlocks in the comments, and of course subscribe for more Dead Island videos as we got more tips and tricks coming your way. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and if you want, you can already watch our next video if it's up by clicking on the screen. I will see you in the next one, goodbye.